Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be doing an unhaul, which is why I have a stack of books attacking me here. Um, I will explain, basically I'm going to go through all these and explain why I'm getting rid of them. What we're going to do is we'll take them in to a charity shop, and then maybe somebody else can enjoy them and love them. So I guess without further ado, we'll just go through them. So the first one I have here is The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. And basically the reason I'm getting rid of this is the E for over on Fred Weasley died laughing. She read this recently. She didn't enjoy it and she gave it a review that when I listened to it, like the things that she picked out upon that annoyed her are all things that would also really annoy me. So I don't think I can ever read this now without just thinking of her review and getting kind of irritated. <laughs> so um, I'm just not going to. But also, I basically, this one I picked up years ago from a charity shop just because I knew the title. And I find out that it's basically like a bit romancy. I don't know. I guess a romance forms this. Well, basically, a romance forms the central plot. But apparently it's a bit of a creepy romance. So, so that's two reasons not to want to read it, really. Okay, here we have Enid Blyton, Five on Brexit Island. This is actually written by Bruno Vincent, not Enid Blyton. It's a parody. And simply put, the reason I'm getting rid of this is because I have two copies of it. I basically bought this second copy from a car boot sale when I bought, I bought like six of them all at the same time. And then didn't realise that I'd already got this one. Well, what's weird isn't, isn't that I didn't realise that I'd already got it. I didn't realise I'd picked it up. I thought I'd left it there. So, I just paid for it anyway. <laughs> uh, here we have Robert Louis Stevenson, Treasure Island. This is one I'm getting rid of because I recently, from that same car boot sale actually, I picked up uh, a, a much more beautiful edition of it. And I got like three different books all in that same edition. So I just figure I'll get rid of this one. Okay, here we have The Zoo of the New, Poems to Read Now, selected by Nick Laird and Don Peterson. Peterson, sorry, Don Peterson. And, um... It's just a big old poetry collection, but I just started reading it. I'm not particularly interested in the kind of poetry that's anthologized in it. And I won this as part of a competition where I won like 15 books, I think. And I've read like eight of those books already. So I feel under no obligation to continue reading this and I just don't want to. So I'm not going to. This is another book from that same competition. Caroline Duffy and Gillian Clark, The Map and the Clock. So uh, this is basically, again, selected poetry that they pulled together. I do actually like Carol Ann Duffy, but this isn't Carol Ann Duffy poetry. It's poems that she's collected, if that makes sense. So, so um, yeah, I'm just, it's just big. And I, again, I have no desire to spend all this time reading those big old poetry books. And here's another one here. In person, world poets filmed and edited by Pamela Robinson Pierce and Neil Astley. And this came with DVDs, and I don't know what happened to those. But I didn't watch the DVDs, and I, I just have no interest in reading this massive. Again, it's like 600-odd pages of, uh, you know, I don't know. I prefer to read individual poets. So, for example, I want to get E.E. E. Cummings's collected poems, and I'd read 600 pages of that, because I know I like E.E. E. Cummings. Whereas that, because it's like... 900 different poets or whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna hate like 800 of the poets. Here we have Ariana Huffington, Fanatics and Fools, the game plan for winning back America. To be honest, I did start reading this. It was okay. Whoa, shit. Actually, maybe I should read it because <laughs> it's signed. I didn't realize that. That actually changes the game. That does make me... All right, I'm not gonna unhaul this because now that I found out this is signed, I'm gonna force myself to continue reading it just so I can keep it. Like, I have a lot of respect for Ariana Huffington and kind of the life she's lived and stuff. That really surprised me. I didn't know it was signed. This is like, this happened with a George R.R. R. Martin book as well. I'm actually glad I just found that. Huh. Well, I wasn't particularly enjoying it, but I'm going to soldier on with it now. You heard it here first. Uh, what else do we got here? We have Desire by Haruki Murakami. So I have actually read this one. But uh, this is the box set that I recently got for my birthday. Becca got me the full box set of these for my birthday. And obviously this is included in the box set. So I thought I'd get rid of that. Dante, The Inferno. And the reason I'm getting rid of this is because I have the whole three. What's it even called? Is it The Divine Comedy? So yeah, I have, I have a copy of The Divine Comedy already. So I don't need just The Inferno by itself. Then here we have uh, Sir Isaac Newton, Newton's Principia, the mathematical principles principles of natural philosophy. Basically, it just it's all going a bit over my head. 
and it's very I don't like how the book is and how it works and stuff I just I just don't know um, I think maybe one day I might read like an abridged version of it but the full thing I, I, it's just killing me man Okay, then we have AC Crispin Rebel Dawn, and this is volume three of the Han Solo trilogy, and I have read books one and two. I reread book one via audiobook for Catalyst Reads Rereadathon earlier this year, and I was basically I got this thinking maybe I'll finally finish the trilogy, but to be honest, I just can't be bothered. I have so many other books on that I want to read, and I just I'm not in the mood for reading it at all, so I'm just not going to read it. And the same goes for these two. I just didn't fancy reading them. I've read... So this is Skullduggery Pleasant and Skullduggery Pleasant Playing With Fire by Derek Landy. And weirdly, I've read the last Skullduggery Pleasant book because the publisher sent it to me, and it was okay. And I kind of thought maybe I'll read them. But the problem as I see it is if I just start reading this series, I'm going to feel obliged to read the entire series. And I don't really want to, and there are a lot of books... So I just, I think I could, instead of reading these two, you know, that there, combining those two together, that's a Stephen King book, pretty much, that I could read. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I know a lot of people love the School Duggery Pleasant books, but, like, the one I read, I didn't have any problems with, it's just, I'm 29. I'm, I'm just too old to be reading this series for the first time, you know, if I'd read it when I was a kid, maybe I could then reread it, and I'd get some of those vibes, you know, but... Like, it's the same with Percy Jackson. I'm just not going to go back and read Percy Jackson now. I'm just... If I ever have children, which is doubtful, but if I do, maybe then I'll do it, but... So, yeah, I can't believe this was signed. That's blown my mind. But anyway, yeah, so those are the books I'm unhauling. I Like I say, I am just going to give these to my local charity shop. So if you want these, you're going to have to come to High Wycombe and go around the charity shops. Uh, I, I don't want to, you know, individually post them to people because then it starts costing a lot of money and stuff. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, I, if I was going to do that, I'd just sell them on eBay or something. I can't be bothered to do that either. I just want to get rid of them and make a bit of space. So, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. To be honest, by the time I've posted this, we've probably got rid of them, so it's probably too late. But if you make a really good case for any of them, I might hunt them down again at some point in the future. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.